Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom of America, man. We want to give honor and glory and praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakach, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. We are here for the elect and elect only of the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, the so called Negroes, Benjamin, the West Indian, Jamaican, Levi, the so called Haitians, uh, Reuben, the so called Seminole Indians, Gad, the North American Indians, Issachar, the so called Mexicans, we have uh, Zebulons, Guatemala, the Panama, Manasseh, the so called Cubans, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Simeon, the Dominicans, Asher, Columbus, the Uruguay, and Naphtali, Argentina, the Chile. These are the 12 tribes of Israel who our big brother Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem. One third the elect, two thirds are set up for the destruction, man. You know? We are the, we are the, the guys that come out, the the, the, the the true pastors, man, to teach you the knowledge, right? Uh, Ezekiel 3. Ezekiel 3 in. 16 and it says and it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me saying son of man I have made thee watchman unto the house of Israel therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me and that's what we are here to do is give warning right he said that we he said we are those watchmen so we're 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 watching for the enemy, man. We on that we on our tower when we come out on the highways and the byways, watching for the enemy, right? We constantly watch the uh, news every day. We watch what brothers are putting up. We, we 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 feed off each other, and we continue to watch the news so we can let our people Israel know what's going on with Esau, man. Because a lot of them are in the dark when it comes to what Esau is doing, you know. Uh, they're in the dark according to what he's doing a lot of times. This is uh second Second Corinthians two and eleven. And it says, Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So the elect men are not gonna be ignorant of Satan's devices, man. How he's issuing it, the RFID chip, making it uh basically making it convenient for them to, to, to get off into the chip, right? We're not ignorant of his device. And a lot of our people are in the dark. So Satan is going to fool a lot of our people because the Lord said in Zechariah 13 and 8, two thirds are going to be destroyed. So a lot of our people are in the dark. So we, we are those watchmen that were speaking of in Ezekiel that's going to warn you. We're going to warn you of the RFID chip. We're going to warn you of thermonuclear destruction. We're gonna warn you of race riots. We're gonna warn you of martial law. We're gonna warn you of famine and pestilence to come. That's why we out here on the on the tower, man. We out here on the streets, man. But wisdom cries out. She uttered the voice in the streets, man. And that's why we come out week in and week out. To push, to push this truth, man. The Lord said, give them the words out of my mouth, man. These words in the scriptures are from the Lord's mouth, man. He said, give them, give them words from my mouth, man. And give them warning, and we're giving you that warning, so you so the blood will be off our hands, man. That's why we're giving you that warning, man. You know, and it says, "Son of man, I have made thee watchman to the house of Israel." Now that's point blank. It says he has made us a watchman to the house of Israel, man. Israel, when you break that word down in the Hebrew, is Yahshua Allah. Yah is He. Shah is Prince Allah of the Power. Israel, the nation that the Lord chose, man. This is the nation that the Lord chose to be his people, man. This is uh, Exodus 4. It's Exodus 4 in 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. So it says Israel is, 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 is the firstborn of Yahweh, man. So yes, that's though Israel will be his, his chosen. And it tells you that all through the scriptures, man. Matter of fact, I'll get one more to edify that. This is 
book of Acts, fifth chapter, uh, Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Yeah, we ought to obey God rather than men, man. Because the scripture tell you in Romans 3 that every man is a liar. So we ought to obey the most high rather than men. It says, the, the power of our fathers raised up, uh, raised up Yahweh Shai when he slew and hanged on a tree, right? And he was hung on that hung, hung on that cross, man. It says, him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, right? He's a savior until the, what, the elect, the, the elect of who is gonna tell you. For to give repentance to Israel and the forgiveness of sins. So it said to give repentance to Israel and the forgiveness of sins. Now let's let's go into that a little bit. Uh, what what? Let's go into that to give repentance because a lot of people think repentance is to everybody, but it is not. Locky, let me look that up. To give repentance to Israel and the forgiveness of sins. That's point blank. They use Israel again. Right? Military Blackhawks preparing. They preparing for war, man. They preparing for martial law. They riding around scoping the area. This is uh, Acts 5 and 29, 31. 31, it says, to give repentance, repentance. Uh, met metanolia, metanolia, a change of mind as it appears to one who repents of a purpose he has formed or something he has done. So we, we ask the Lord to basically take away our sins when we repent. We're feeling sorry. We have that change of mind from when we were in that, that two-third mind state, that reprobate mind state. So we, we, we ask the Lord to forgive us, man, and to guide us, man, that, in that right direction, man. You know? Uh... That's repentance. Uh, let's see. For the forgiveness of sins, man. Aphasius, uh, Aphasius. To release from bondage or imprisonment, man. That forgiveness of that sin. He was releasing us from that, from that, that, that cloak of sin, man. Forgiveness or pardon of sins, letting them go as they have never been committed. Remission of penalty. So we, that forgiveness meaning what? He's forgiven you for the for, for all that wrong you've done, right? And if you keep repenting and keep asking the Lord to forgive you, then in that day, there might be a deliverance for you if you're a part of the, of the elect, man. It's a strong possibility it could be a uh, deliverance for you, you know? And it says, uh, him have the most high exalted with his right hand and, and, and that right hand stands for uh, basically like power, man. That right hand is the hand of power. And it says, for to give repentance to Israel and the forgiveness of sins. And it says, and we are, and we are his witnesses of these things. And so it also the Holy Spirit whom the Most High have given to them to obey. And we obey that spirit because that spirit was left through the, which is called the comfort, which are the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the spirit. I'll tell you, I'll show you what the spirit is. This is what the spirit is. Because it said, uh, also, and so also the Holy Spirit whom the Most High given to them to obey. So he want us to obey the Holy Spirit. So what is the Holy Spirit? This is uh, the book of St. John. St. John 6, St. John 6 is 60, uh, 6 is 
63. It says, it is the spirit that quickens, and the flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So these words that he's speaking unto us through using the scriptures, they are the word and they are the life, man. So we're supposed to read the scriptures, man. Repent and read the scriptures and go by the go by what the scriptures, the guide that the scriptures is telling you. You know? And that's how we and that's how we and that's how we basically roll. We are Hebrew Israelites, we're not black extremists. Uh let's see, uh let's go to First Peter. First Peter 4 and 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. Man. Let him speak as the oracles, the utterances of, of the Most High. Hit that spirit. It says, if any man minister, let him do it as of the of the ability which God gives it, because God gives everybody a different ability. You know, some men are prophets, I tell you in Corinthians, some men are teachers, some men are evangelists, some men are helpers. You know, but whatever, 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 uh, whatever ability that he gives you, you do it to the to, to your best, man. You know, and it says uh, that the Most High, all things may glorify, all things may be glorified through your Hawashai, Amashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So, Yahweh Hawashai gets the praise, man. You know, for him leaving this comfort, this word for us to have that guide, that guideline to go by, to keep us living in a uh, a, a righteous manner and, 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 and keeping us straight, basically. Because with, without this comforter, his word, hey, it would be this this side. It would be just way out of order, man. It would be total yeah, yeah, chaos, man. Keep your eyes out, you know. Man. So that's why we have the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, man. You know, it's back in uh, Ezekiel. Uh, back in Ezekiel 3 and 16, and it came to pass that at the end of seven days that the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, the ones who the forgiveness of sins is for, who the remission of sin is for, Israel. And he says, therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me, man. So give them, give them that, give them that warning for me. You know? Uh, let's see. It says Proverbs uh, 14, 25, a true witness delivers souls, man. So a true witness basically gonna, gonna speak this word, which the elect is gonna hear, and the elect will, will hear it, and then they're gonna take heed, which them taking heed to this word is a possibility that they can save their lives, man. Because we are here for the elect and the elect only, you know? But it says, but a deceitful witness speaketh lies. Someone who's not at your best interest, man. Because a lot of a lot of cats are not watching it until the house of Israel. You have a lot of people that call themselves Israel teachers, but they're teaching they're teaching not the 100 percent truth. Some are teaching 95, some are teaching 80, some are just not teaching no truths for real, and they call themselves prophets, man. Those are those deceitful uh, the deceitful uh, witnesses, man. They speak lies unto you, man. And the Lord hates a liar. You can read that in Proverbs 6, man. And throughout the Proverbs, man. You know? So it says, give them warning for me. Like I said, we're going to warn you of the thermonuclear destruction. We're going to warn you of the RFID chip. Right? We're going to warn you of those things, man. Because those things are set forth to come. These are prophecies that, that haven't been for some of these, that, like the nuclear destruction, the RFID chip. As a full scale, the RFID chip, it's, it's not a, 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 the prophecy hasn't came. And you have people that are, we see it slowly because people are getting that chip slowly and surely. Like, uh, I think it's uh, Sweden. 
Man, they, it's, a, it's a large fluctuation of people in Sweden that have the chip right now. They have that microchip. Right? They have that microchip. Revelation. Uh, 13. Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, right? So it don't matter. He calls it all both small and great. It don't matter if you, if you, uh, if you are a great uh, in authority or you're small in authority, it don't matter your size, kids, grown ups, right? It says rich and poor. So you could be Bill Gates or, or the next man that just living behind the trash can. It says rich and poor. It says free and bond, right? Free and bond because you have people, you have bond people that are incarcerated within this system. The system incarcerates us. But we're basically, uh, 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 we out here walking around, we able to go out of our house, go to stores, but you have some people in, they're in the, uh, the prison systems where they're not able to go anywhere, right? So that's free and bond, it don't matter. It says, to receive in a right, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, right? So that, 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 uh, that mark they're talking about right there, let me get that for you. That particular mark, it's a, uh, man, it's, it's funny, man. I, I'm watching other brothers' videos, and they say the same thing that I've been going through, man. These phones are slowing up, man. He saw his, his uh, I guess he's, he's closing the bandwidth down on these phones, man, because it's like you're not getting, you're not getting it, that, that, that signal's not going fast enough now. So they probably closing the band with man on us, man. Uh, Revelations 13, 16. Uh, that mark, that mark in Revelations is is uh, Greek 15, 1580, Karagma. It says a stamp, an imprinted mark of a mark stamp on the forehead or in the right hand as a badge of as a badge of followers of anti-Christ. Anti meaning against the anointing. So if you take the chip, you're going against the anointing. A mark, a brand, things carved in an idolatrous image. It says a stamp as a badge of servitude, a sculptured figure. So it's a badge of servitude if you take it. Because if you take that chip, you're gonna be under, uh, you're gonna fall up under Esau's laws, man. You know, he's gonna be able to, to basically uh, have your whole history on that chip from from everything from birth to where you at now, your, uh, your bank accounts, your history, your medical history. Everything, what, what books you like, where you've been, where you've traveled, everything. He's going to know. He's going to know it, right? He's going to know everything, man. So, if you take that, you're going, you're, you're going against your house shot, man. What you're doing, you're making yourself a slave to Esau because when you take that chip, if you, if you basically, uh, basically don't do what they want you to do, guess what? They just cut your chip off and then you're, you're not able to do nothing. And it's gonna tell you that. It says, uh, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he have that mark. Except you have that mark, you won't be able to buy or sell because if you if you take that chip and you don't do basically what Esau wants you to do, he can cut cut your chip off. Then you basically cut away from from society, basically, right? That's if you take that chip. Then the elect not going to take it. The Lord is going to make a provision for the elect to make a way. He's going to make provisions for the elect not to take it, right? If you see a man preaching now on the streets and he preaching 100% truth and that day come, you see him in the wilderness 
he eating good and he following in the same line and, and putting his hand up on their scanner and going on, then you know he had a chip. He never was part of the elect. That's how they're gonna go because the elect are gonna, are gonna uh, uh, suffer through it. And it says, in that no man might buy or sell, save he have that mark or that name of the beast or the number of his name. Verse 18, it says, here is wisdom. Let, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man and his number is 600, three score and six, which is the U, UPC, man, universal product code. It's a barcode, it's all biometrics, and that's where they're going. Because you can see it in these stores now. Value, value shopper. You know, you go in there now. It's less, it's less uh, attendance in there helping you uh, check out your groceries, man. Now, when you buy your groceries, you got to go in the line and you check them out yourself. And you scan, you scan your uh, your little uh, Kroger's card or whatever, or Brooks's card or whatever shopping place you go to. They give you these cards and you scan them, and it'll say "Welcome, value customer." They're 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 uh, preparing you for the issuing end of that chip. It seems to make it easier. Look, you got long lines over here. Go in this line and you can be already out of here before them. You know, that's 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 them making it convenient, making it seem like it's convenient to have a chip. So when they urge it in, you're gonna go right with it, man. But the Lord says otherwise. He says not to take it. Revelations 14, uh, 9 and 10. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark. If you receive that RFID chip, which is that mark, it says on his forehead or on his right hand, meaning that's that's the whole basically the system, man. You receive that chip, you basically saying, okay, Esau, you in control of my life. Now they making that shit convenient. They pushing it out there on, on, on a, a small scale. But we ain't supposed to take that chip according to the scriptures, because the penalty for it, it says, uh, Verse 10, the same shall drink of what? The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is what? The thermonuclear destruction. This is going to be the, the wine of the most 